it's Jesse, and I wanted to show you my setup in my new B6 Traveler's Notebook. Now this was a Recollections personal size ring bound notebook that I converted into a Traveler's Notebook. And I have a separate video about the process of that, which I will link below if you're curious about how I did it. But for this video, I'm just going to show you the current setup that I have uh, for planning in this notebook. Okay. So this is a hot pink color, so I added um, this little charm from Michaels, which I thought coordinated well. And I did use white elastic on this when I made it because I thought it matched the white stitching well, better than a black elastic would. When you open it up, here in the pockets I have some stencils, I have a ticket for an upcoming event, and then I have this cute little kitty cat post-it from Target um, Bullseye Dollar Spot, which I glued to just this piece of pink card so I could tuck it in and it would sit on the outside like that. And just a few random things in there, not too much in the pockets. And then this dashboard, I used this piece of cardstock that says just a note and it has lines. So if I use a uh, wet erase marker on here, I can use this to make a list of a to-do list or a grocery list or anything like that and then just erase it with a wet cloth when I'm done with it. And I like having this uh, as an alternative to the post-it notes if I chose to do that. And I just added a little bit bigger piece of this marble in the background to coordinate. And I made these um, pockets just a little bit too wide, but I think it's okay. Uh, and then this is my first insert. This is made using a folder, like a regular school folder that I cut down. I just really liked the feel of it. It's a little sturdier than regular cardstock. And this is my monthly. So this is an Annie Plans printable. So that's what it looks like, a month on two pages. So I have everything sort of planned. This is the academic year calendar. So it's July of 2017 through June of 2018. And then there's some no pages in the back. And I use this pretty uh, gold and hot pink cardstock for my next insert because I thought it worked well with the color of the planner. And this is uh, Annie Plans weekly layout. And there are things in here that I am not sure I'm going to use. It duplicates some of the things from the monthly, like this is a duplicate. And then it has a monthly tracker, which I don't know how I'm going to use yet. Some note pages, which I'm utilizing. And then these are the weekly um, week on two pages. So I just got this insert. So this is the first week I've done. And if you see all the read stickers, this week is Booktubeathon. So it's a readathon. So I have a read sticker or red sticker on each one to write down what I read each day, how many pages, how many books, etc. So that's it. It's very simple. I've been using an insert and just drawing in my weekly layout, but this was essentially what I was drawing and it saves me on having to either try to nicely write my, my days of the week or use stickers, and so this is just perfect. So this goes through September. So it has all the weeklies, and then again it has the August um, monthly tracker, no pages, and then all the weeks. And two pages for August and then September. And there's the back of that dashboard. And I just used a piece of pink cardstock and then this picture that my daughter colored of a unicorn. And then these notebooks I, I really like. These are Muji notebooks that I got from Amazon. They, uh, they were 5 for $10, which is the same price as the ones I had been using from uh, Michael's um, in the sort of like you know that part of Michael's by the register that has $1, $2, $5 kind of items, they were in there. And these are a little bit nicer quality and they're cream as opposed to white paper. And like I said, about the same price, about $2 a piece. So these are five by seven, which is the perfect size insert for a B6. So this insert, 
it's kind of a mishmash of things. I have some collection pages pulled from my other bullet journal um, that I just taped in. I have some YouTube blog sort of calendars for when things are going to be updated. I have my reading schedule for book booktubeathon, which I haven't filled in yet. So it's just kind of a bunch of random, not tasks, not daily pages, not it's sort of collections and a bunch of other things as well. Um, and then the next one is the daily pages. This is the same Muji notebook, so this is what it looks like. And I have this cute paper clip that I got in the back to school section at Target. It was a big pack of these binder clips in different colors with these little faces, which I thought were cute. Um, yeah, so that's the daily pages. And then another drawing for my daughter. And then I made this 5x7 folder using cardstock. It's got a little bit of glitter to it, if you can see that. And then here I'm just keeping stickers, which is what I've been doing in the A6 as well. And then back here I don't have anything, and I don't have a notepad in here. I haven't found one that I like that fits in here yet. And right now I'm carrying a Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in this blue color, but obviously my pen choices change quite a bit. Uh, but that is the a look at my B6 setup in my converted recollections planner into a traveler's notebook. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.